Hey everybody, here's our Mitsubishi widescreen DLP high definition TV and uh, we have featured this TV in a few videos pretty much all the videos that um, pretty much rant videos <laughs> where I was in there talking about Windows 8 or whatever I had this TV on showing the Q computer logo as the background and um, this TV has worked really good and we've had it for um, I'd say a little over six months, something like that. And we got it on June 28th. It was actually my birthday. We got this thing. And um, it had just had the lamp bulb replaced. My dad paid $150 for the thing, which was pretty much a steal for this kind of TV. And like I say, it worked really good up until, I'd say, the past few weeks. We started to have some issues with it. Let's go ahead and have a close look at the screen. Not sure if you can see them or not, but there's a bunch of dots on the display. I'm trying to get a good focus here. Just have a careful look. And no, that's not because it's, the screen is dirty. There's another reason behind that. Now, first, let me go ahead and just take a look at the back of the TV. Get the model. This is a Mitsubishi Electric model WD-57734. And it's a 1080p television, really nice TV. Now I'm going to explain what these dots are, what's causing these dots. Basically this TV uses a DLP chip which is by Texas Instruments. And the DLP chip has a bunch of tiny little mirrors on the chip that help to actually control what you see on your TV and I've heard that over four let's say after four to five years the chip can fail resulting in these dots basically these black dots and the white dots you can see all these dots are due to failed mirrors on that DLP chip and it started out as a small white dot located right in this area and that's why I started to actually look this up and I have found out that um, these dots tend to multiply and they have multiplied very fast very very fast it's kinda like an exponential equation if you'll put it that way um, it started multiplying at a very small amount then it started multiplying at a very fast amount so this TV is slammed full of black and white dots now they're going to pull up the Q computer logo since it's black mostly and you can you'll be able to see the white dots a little better hang on let me pull this up with a different program pull this up with Windows Photo Viewer it's better for full screen than Windows Live crap is And do a full screen. Now yeah, you can see those white dots a little bit better. And in every spot that's white, you can see the black dots. I think the very first white dot showed up right here. That's the very first white dot. We started to have some come up through here. Look kind of like Big Dipper or Little Dipper. <laughs> Looks like you're looking at a um, nighttime sky. And today was the first day I noticed the black dots showing up. Because I did some reading on this and um, I found out that even black dots will show up too. And sure enough, there's a bunch of black dots showing up too. You don't see those as often when you're just watching TV on a thing. But when you pull up an image like this, you can really see them. And so I've also looked up online how hard it is to replace the DLP chip. It's not too difficult for somebody who um, has already experienced with fixing computers and everything else. Basically, what you have to do is, of course, unplug the TV. And I'll show you around back exactly what you have to do. This back panel here pops loose. Of course, this here is separate. 
this whole back panel pops out. On this side you have your, um, of course, this is your video control equipment. This is where all your HDMI connections, audio, that kind of stuff goes in. And on this side of the TV is your light engine. And it's a whole big old assembly that pulls out. It has your lamp, your color wheel, your DLP chip, and your focusing lens. All that kind of stuff. That whole assembly pulls out fans and all. And basically that, you have to um, take a few things loose and you can get the DLP chip out. And surprisingly, um, for those who work on computers, work on laptops, the DLP chip installs like a laptop CPU does. It has a socket that reminds me of a laptop CPU. So anyways, I'll try to feature um, me repairing this TV in a video. It shouldn't be too difficult and it'll help you help you all understand what has to be done. And the thing about these um, these DLP TVs, they seem to have a better picture than LCDs. Like for instance, the other day I was at, I was at somebody's house doing a computer repair and they had a 1080p LG um, LCD display, I mean LCD TV, and um, the video quality didn't look exactly as clear as a D uh, as clear as this DLP TV. The colors on this TV are a lot better. There's more sharpness, more clarity. But these DLP televisions do require maintenance, and I think, and I see a lot of these TVs, not just this brand, but many other. DLP brands end up at thrift stores because people don't realize hey you just gotta replace that lamp or you gotta replace the car wheel or you gotta replace a DLP chip and um, of course these TVs like I say they're high maintenance and they do cost more to maintain over time because this DLP chip is gonna cost around two hundred dollars and it really blows that the that the, um, Chip cost around two hundred dollars because we were almost ready to buy a um, cable car tuner for the TV box, the TV computer, so we get the TV computer back on this thing. So now that's going to, have to wait just a little bit. The lamp bulb that was um, installed in this TV before we bought it was around eighty dollars. That's how much it usually cost. And like I say, the previous owner did that repair themselves. I didn't do that repair, but um, but yeah. So if your DLP TV, um, if the light stops working, that's usually your um, lamp bulb needs to be replaced. Or if you get these dots, that's your DLP chip that needs to be replaced. And of course, um, I'm not sure exactly what happens when your color wheel stops working. I've never seen that happen, but um, anyways, um. Keep checking Q Computer Channel often because within the next few weeks, once I do the repair, I should have a video up on repairing this thing. And I'm saying, like I say, this repair should be done probably within the next few weeks because we got to order the chip and everything. So, anyways, um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask. And thanks for watching. And here's a final look at the um, TV. After I unplugged the laptop from the HDMI cable. I'm not sure if you can actually see the black dots, but the white dots show up really good.